Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box and today we're going to be reviewing Pop number 111, 112, 113, and 117, Batman. In a world where all you have are Batman Pops, comes four more Batman Pops. To add to your overgrowing Batman Pop collection, you've got Batman in blue, armored Batman, old Batman with his mask off, and then you've got the classic black Batman without the yellow circle around the symbol on his chest. Batman Pops. For your Batman Pops. Until all there are, are Batman Pops. Powered by Fungo. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way. These pops are based off of The Dark Knight Returns. It's a comic book from the 80s by Frank Miller, which was kind of like an inspiration for some of the Batman movies that you have been seeing on the big screen. More importantly, the armored Batman suit, which you may have noticed, there was an armored Batman suit in Batman vs. Superman the movie. Because in The Dark Knight Returns, Batman fights Superman, but he does so at the prime age of 55 years old. So this is old Batman. This is old man, old Batman, bat old man. So this is older Batman. So the Dark Knight Returns, kind of a dark comic and um, Batman comes out of retirement so many years after, you know, Jason Todd gets the, the ax and then Joker and Superman and he fights all of them and Robin's like a 12 year old girl or boy. Or, uh, I don't We'll show you in the back of the box. So, these are all the Batmen, right? Batman. So take a look at the box. So you can see here. Dun, 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 dun. We'll get this right out of the way. The Batman concept art for this guy has a yellow circle around his chest. This guy does not. What's going on? Side of the box is the concept art that looks like the that that is. You can see the the side of the box. That background art, I think, is the actual comic book cover of The Dark Knight Returns. And I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Um, back of the box shows you other pops in the series. You can see that the Joker's there. <clears throat> Carrie Kelly is Robin. Superman. And then you've got the Batman up top, minus, you know, the black Batman, which is 117, which is the number after this one. Um... These three on the bottom, I think they're coming out later on this year. Entertainment Earth has them as a release date of March, but supposedly it's not supposed to be that long. It's supposed to be maybe like November or like uh, maybe October, November, December they should be out because I believe they have a pre-order of these dates as the same. And as you can see, they've already been released. These came out overseas already. So we got these from our friends, the Gamer Twins, because they love their Batman. And they got them off of popculture.com. For those of you in the States who don't want to order from popculture.com, these are PX comic exclusives, which means they'll have the little PX exclusive sticker right here. And then you can actually get them at like comic book stores and like FYE and, you know, like where pops are sold, except Game GameStop and Hot Topic and Target and Walmart, like. They'll never have, I don't think they've ever had PX exclusives. I think it's just like something that like toy shops can order in FYE for some reason. But that's where you're going to get them here because they're going to all be PX exclusives, all of them, which makes sense because it's based off of the comic book and that's like a comic book thing. So we'll put these boxes to the side. Very gently, twins, we won't damage your boxes. And then we'll take a look at all the Batmans. Batman. Well, this is going to be relatively easy because they're all essentially the same. Yes and no, but more or less yes. So we'll take a look at the armored Batmans first. So you can see the armored suit isn't as cool as the suit of the armored pop from um, Batman vs. Superman, and that's okay. So for this guy, oh, and... Right off the bat, they all have the same old mouth. And they're all angry. Batman, you'd think after years and years, he'd get a little less angry. But nope, still angry. He's like, What do you mean my senior discount doesn't work anymore? Right? So, from the neck down, same as Act Pop. From the neck up, different. Um, this one has the traditional Batman, you know, mask, cowl, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can see the armored indent right here. The eyes are pretty cool as well. And all the way around, it's just basic, like, a gray paint. 
And then here on the back, they each are sporting a traditional blue cape, which is pretty cool as well. Um, but as far as the armor goes, take a look there. We're having a rough go this morning, okay? So as far as the armor goes, you can see right here, there's no um, bat symbol on the chest. He's got all these, like, these, it looks like bolts almost. Um, you can see, you know, he still has these, like, spikes things here on the side. I'm sure there's an official name for him that you Batman fans will tell me. Uh, the belt, he still has a utility belt. And there is where the bat logo is. It's that big, thick bat logo. And that's what was the inspiration for um, Ben Affleck's bat logo. Um, you can see that he's got this gun here, which I'm assuming is, like, these areas of green are kryptonite because this is when he fights Superman. Um, and then uh, you can see like the neck mold right here. It's pretty awesome um, where the cape goes into. Uh, there's different shades of gray throughout the suit. So he's got like light gray here, light gray on the shoulders. Then like the, the fists are like a darker gray. Um, and it goes all the way around to his boots here too. You can see look at even the even the detail on the bottom of the boots, you know, look like actual like actual boots there, and it's pretty cool. And you've got old man Batman here with his mask off, just just as angry as the last one. Um, so you can see like in the face here, like these little lines are I guess to signify like wrinkles. You can see this one right here, or no, maybe they're scars. I don't want to know how he got those scars. Um. You know, and now Batman, Bruce Wayne, is a silver fox. Look at that. He's got the gray hair all the way around. All the way around here to the back. Basically, you know, not much going on in, in the way. But, I mean, Bruce Wayne, he's old now. People get old. It happens, kids. I'm sorry. And then we've got the two variations of Batman in his regular suit here. Um, so we've got a blue one and the black one. Like I just mentioned before, the black... Batman's box has a yellow symbol around the Bat logo, kind of like this blue one does, but the actual pop does not have that. Um, now, before we get crazy and say, oh my god, it's an error, sell it for $500, $600, $700, $800, $10,000, I don't think that's the case. I think the box just has a different design on it, which is kind of common sometimes with Funko. They'll put something on the box, and, and it won't be what the pop is. Um... Uh, and I think that's the case. I think that when this Batman's released in the States, he will not have the yellow symbol as well. Um, but as far as it goes, you can see exactly they're in the same like fight pose. The scars or wrinkles, I'm going to say they're wrinkles. They're, they're more predominant on these two than they are on this guy. Like you can really see them stand out on them. Then he's got like wrinkles in his cowl right here. And then you can see the sculpt for the brow here, which is pretty cool. It makes him look so angry. Um... And then, like, you can see the suit. He's got kind of, like, it's, like, stretched or, like, I don't know if that's to signify his ripped muscles, but, like, I don't think so. Maybe the suit's just, I don't know, loose. I don't know. <laughs> Not a loose suit. Um, back of the pop, just like every other Batman pop you've ever seen. You know, you can see, you know, the ears, the bat ears and the cape. Um, and that's... That's about it, guys. So you can see the utility belt it goes all the way around. As far as paint flaws go, some of the paint from the yellow is on the top of this guy. It's on the bottom of this guy. Um, and, you know, that's the risk you run when you order these online. You can't actually see them. But at the same time, you get them before everybody else does, and that's pretty cool as well. But, you know, maybe paint issues aren't your thing. And at the same time, the Gamer Twins, they know how to paint a pop, so they could always fix it if they wanted to. But there you go. If you've seen one Batman pop, you've seen them all, right? No? So then Funko needs to make more. So there you go, guys. Batman, 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 Batman. All based off of The Dark Knight Returns. You can get them now overseas, popculture.com. Or you can wait till they start showing up in the States here, which should be sooner rather than later. And if you like the video, give us a like, comment on it down below, subscribe for more. Follow us on Instagram and, uh, oh, I told you guys, having a rough go on it. Follow us on Instagram at ESBJO underscore Facebook. We post daily pop pictures. Look for us on Twitter and Facebook at Toybox. It's the same name. Join us on Facebook at Poppin' Off of All Fungo. Look for my column Thursdays, popvinyls.com. And as always, be kind to one another. Have a great day and free the pops. We will see you around. What about my senior discount? Did you guys get a senior discount? 
we get ice cream for free after a certain time. No, you don't. We will see you around.